I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Uh, I'm in the stable here with Snowy because it's quite wet and drizzly outside. And I just want to share my heart with you. And I want to ask you, especially parents, teach your children the Word of God. Like never before, the gospel has got to be taught, not just at the university or at Bible college, but in the home, in the workplace. If you're working on a bully site and you're a Christian and you've got lots of other guys, there, teach the Word to these chaps. Please, it's the Word that will set you free. It's the Word that will keep you on the straight and narrow, as they say. All roads do not lead to heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It's in the Word. John chapter 14 and verse 6. Let's go to the book of Nehemiah. Remember, Nehemiah was called by God to rebuild the, the, the wall in Jerusalem. So we go to Nehemiah chapter 8, and I'm going to read from verse 3. Then he read from it in the open square that was in front of the water gate from morning until midday, before the men and women and those who could understand and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. Like never before. We go right down through the Bible and it talks about the importance of reading the Bible. You know, I've written a lot of books myself. I've written a lot of devotionals. We've got a brand new one just come out now. But I've always said, I'm a poor salesman. I've always said, if you're reading my devotionals, in place of the Bible, please throw my devotional away. Because everything in that devotional came out of this book. You cannot supplement this book for anything. This book is the truth. This book will teach your child to be a follower of Christ. This book will set you free. And it's not just for Sundays, and it's not just for certain times. It's all the time. I take this book, I think you know that, everywhere I go. Because this book is my pathfinder, it's my compass, it's the book that shows me the way. It's the book that's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, especially when I'm on my own, and Jill's left at home on the farm, and I'm in some hotel room on the other side of the world. This book is my comfort. So I really want to encourage you, my dear friend, to read the Bible. The Bible brings a lot of satisfaction, a lot of peace, and a lot of understanding. And you need to do that. And not just for yourself, but for all those around you. On the farm here, we start work every morning with reading the book and with praying to the Lord. And it's not just one man that does it. We all do it together. And it sets such a lovely tone for the day. People work together, pull their weight together, because once you've read the book, the Word of God, it brings peace, it brings harmony, it brings unity amongst all of us. At school, as often as you can, read the Word of God. And the Lord says, My Word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Psalm 119 and verse 105. I want to encourage you to do the same. Because when you do that, then you don't make a mistake, folks. And we are living in dark times. I think you can agree with me on that one. And this is the book that teaches you to walk in the light. So as Nehemiah read the Bible, he read the book from morning until midday. And all the people were attentive to what he had to say. This book will tell you exactly what to do without having to go on for hours. It's very, very straightforward, and it's the book that keeps me alive. Until next time, may God bless you. Goodbye.